What happens if you can't pay your overdraft? Will you go further into debt or even be sent to jail? Firstly, let's go over the difference between arranged and unarranged overdrafts. An arranged overdraft is when you have a pre-agreement with your bank on how much you can overdraft and the costs associated with it. On the other hand, an unarranged overdraft is when you go overdrawn without a prior arrangement. Now, what happens if you can't pay back your overdraft? The debt will continue to accrue interest and grow larger. If you don't have an arranged overdraft, your bank will ask you to repay the money instantly. However, as of April 2020, the FCA has banned banks from charging unarranged overdraft fees, daily fees or late fees. Banks have tried to make up for this loss by increasing the interest rate on their overdraft facilities, which can now reach up to 39.9%. If you don't pay back an unarranged overdraft, the debt will accrue interest, making it even harder to pay off. It's important to note that you cannot go to jail for not paying an overdraft debt. However, if the bank is unable to collect payments from you, they may may sell your debt to a debt collection agency. They will chase you for payments and could threaten court action, which could lead to the use of bailiffs if you don't come to an arrangement to pay it. So can you get out of paying your overdraft? The good news is that there are several ways to do this and the best method for you will depend on your personal circumstances. It's highly recommended to receive free debt advice from a debt charity like Step Change or Citizens Advice. They can recommend debt solutions or strategies based on your circumstances that can help you pay off your overdraft. Some of the strategies that could help you pay off your overdraft more affordably are taking out a 0% interest credit card. Taking out a 0% interest credit card and using the money to clear your overdraft can be a smart way to clear your overdraft without paying further interest. However, you'll still have the debt, just elsewhere, and it will be up to you to manage repayments. You should also be very aware of when the credit card 0% interest ends, aiming to pay off your debt before then. You may be able to take out a personal loan to pay off your overdraft. You could consider taking out a personal loan that has a lower interest rate than what's being charged on your overdraft. This is very similar to taking out a 0% credit card in that you'll still need to clear the debt. However, with a loan, regular monthly payments will be set up, which may make your budgeting a little bit easier. Another method to clear your overdraft may be improving your budgeting. A credit card and loan will both require a new credit application and credit score check, which could be problematic if you have arrears. If you think you'll be rejected for credit, you could instead try to pay off the overdraft by managing your money better, which the debt charities mentioned may be able to advise you on. There are also a number of debt solutions available here in the UK. Some are free to use and others include fees, and each will have their own pros and cons. If you want to learn more about the solutions available, then we've created a really great form that you might be interested in checking out. Click the link in the description to get started and answer a few multiple choice questions like the total amount of your debt, how many people you owe, your living situation, and we'll connect you with one of our trusted partners so that you can find out more and take steps towards improving your financial situation.